Congressman, man. How you doing today, boss? I'm good. How are you? Big news in the Big Ten, man. How, how excited are you about Ohio State being back, man? I'm thrilled for the players, honestly. Um, like, my last year at Ohio State, honestly, it changed my life. I have no idea where I'd be without it. Um, so these kids are going to get to play ball. Great for them. President Trump was, was a lot, put a lot of pressure in this situation. Man, should he get some credit, you think, for making this happen this season? I think so. I mean, he, he definitely opened the door back up, um, as far as I could tell. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, you still had to get university presidents, doctors, coaches, everybody aligned. Um, and that work, frankly, couldn't be happier with Ohio State. And, Gene Smith and President Johnson and, and uh, Ryan Day, they worked their butts off. So and I, you, I know a lot of other people did too. So you know politics and you know sports probably more than most people out there. In a state like Ohio, Trump's efforts here, can that, can that swing some voters, you think? Honestly, I have no idea. My guess is no, but, but so I, I, have, I have no idea. So you don't think anything possibly? I don't know. I mean, look, I think, I think anything... Honestly, I'm not thinking about that. I'm, I'm thinking about the fact that We've got a lot of kids who are going to get an opportunity to live out their dream. Yeah. How the politics shakes out, it's like chaos, math. Nobody knows how it's going to shake Nobody out. Nobody knows, but he could Nobody see a boost, knows. possibly. It could. All right. You never know. Thanks so much, Congressman.